up, YouTube? It's your boy True Technology. You know what you wear? There's knowledge in your walk. I got my man Tootie here, so you know that means we got another epic. Either it's an early release or it's something that was exclusive. So we're gonna get right into it, man. Welcome back, dude. Congratulations. NC NCAA champion here, Tar Heels. Man, he wasn't a Tar Heel fan until they won. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you know the Razorbacks should have beat them boys, though. Yeah, right. But anyway, so we got we got a shoe. I mean, he's a legend in the game, will be, still is right now, LeBron. So, I can't handle the man. I'm not a big fan of the 14s. I'm going to give you this one. Oh, you got one. Go ahead. So, boom. Dope shoe, man. Very dope. Very dope shoe. Kind of a sneaker release, though. You know what I'm saying? It was like, it was one of those surprise things. Yeah, it was kind of there was secret about it. Nike was. Yeah, it? so Nike trying to pull the wool over people's eyes. They don't want people to get these things, but you can't keep nothing away from this man. Yeah. So I was doing my research, you know, check peeping the game, checking out other YouTubers, make, see, see what my competition is, you know what I'm saying? Your phone ring. Hey, your phone ring. Hey, your phone ring. Hey, your phone ring. Pick up your. So who that calling you, man? That better not be Nike. <laughs> but just trying to peep, peep the competition, and as you, the name on the screen, it's only one other guy that has a review up right now. As you can see, the name on the screen. Check out his page. One of my close friends, one of his friends, you know what I'm saying? Dope reviews. He just started the YouTube thing. So check him out. Make sure you subscribe to his channel also. But he's one of the only people I've seen with this review. But that being said, people drop reviews all the time. So by the time I get mine up, there's probably going to be seven or eight other ones. So you know what I'm saying? So make sure you check the name. But anyway, so Air Mag, LeBron 14, start with this box. 175, very dope box. Thank you, Nike. High quality from the box to the shoe to the laces. We'll get all up into that. But as you can see here, size 12, 175. The colorway on the box is matte, silver, white, and glow. We'll get off into what that glow exactly means. LeBron James on the box. 14, LJ. All right. Detail. That's the keyword tonight. The keyword tonight for this review is detail. That's a lot Make sure that's big on the screen. Yeah. So a lot of detail yeah. on this shoe. Now, I'm going to be honest with you two. Just, hey, out of respect for us, we don't know <laughs> everything about this shoe. But we're going to tell you guys everything that we see. If there's anything that we miss, comment below. If we say something wrong, which I ain't going to say nothing wrong. That I, I'm just not going to say it if I don't know it. But just comment below and let us know. All right, so let's get into it, man. First thing that you want to say about this shoe, what, what comes to mind? <sighs> I love the colorway, man. The Air Mag colorway remind me. Marty McFly with the Air Mags, Back to the Future, one of my favorite movies growing up as a kid. Um, I'm still waiting on them to come out with a yeller shoe. <laughs> you know, if that was the thing in the, in the, in the movie, you yell. What's wrong, dude? You yell! Nobody calls me yellow. <laughs> anyway, so let's start with this bottom. That's what I always do. So the bottom is not a translucent blue, just the FYI for those of you that think it is. It's actually a bottom that glows. Yeah. It glows in the dark. Ain't going to be no darkness coming on tonight, so <laughs> we're going to keep the lights on. But they, they do glow. I might put some pictures up um, at the end of the video. But um, both shoes are different. Got different yeah. things on them, so we'll start with that. Let's start with the front of this one. As you can see on there, it's got the LJ on the front of um, the tongue on this one. And on the one he has, it has the number 23. On the inside of his shoe, because I don't want to take out this thing. Let me, let me explain this before we get into that. So, on the inside of the shoe, as you can see, this big, white, nice, crafted, made specifically for this shoe. Like I said, Nike really took the time and effort, in my opinion, the craftsmanship to, to make this shoe. That they even, the cardboard insert here. As you can see there, you can see that the shoelaces have their own spot. Like, everything is look like it's fit, it's made for this individual shoe. Like I said, I appreciate that. For those people that collect shoes, you definitely got to appreciate the, the time and effort that was yeah. taken to put off into that. But that's, that's my soapbox. My bad. I'm off of it. <laughs> All right, so the inside of the shoe. Inside of the shoe, um, this one has LJ yep. and then the red, yellow, and green lights from the DeLorean, if I'm not mistaken. And kind of that's what they got the concept for those colors uh, for the um, original Air Max. 
on this one, I'm not going to take this out of this one because, like I said, these are dead stock. I'm not going to undead stock them or anything like that. But on the inside of this one, it's 23 with the same three dots in them. Um, on the bottoms, well, let's start Let's start on the out on the inner midsole of it. So right here, it has a 330. I don't know what that 330 is. I'm not sure either, man. And on this one, his, yeah, you got BBZ, which I don't understand what that's for. So BBZ 330. Let us know below what, what exactly that means. Um, on the inside tongue. So as he holds that up there for you guys to see on the inside of the tongue, it says 2017. That's the year that we're in. Ohio, that's the state that LBJ is from. 203084 is his birthday. And then the number 23 is of course is his jersey number. And then I'm not sure if it's 2226 or, or two, if it's 226, two, I don't know. 226. But like I said, man, I'm not sure what exactly all those numbers mean. I'm gonna show them to you again. You guys let us know below if you know what that two two 26 years or if it's 22 26 I'm not sure exactly or maybe I'll have it done by the time I put this review up but uh, got this strap let me undress it real quick got the strap on it it's man hideous she was hideous without the strap in my opinion but I mean that's just my opinion you got the LeBron James signature on the inside of the strap also and the, like I said white laces on here but they came with these gray um, laces with the 3M material on them and the metal tips on the end, as you can tell. Like I said, they just, they really, they really put the time and effort off into the shoe. But it looks like a bulky shoe, man, but it's light. It's light. Like, this is my first time holding the uh, LeBron 14, so I mean, I didn't know, realize it was that light, but they, they look massive, like Frankenstein shoes, but they, they're really not that, they're really not that heavy. Um, the back of it, the, LeBron James logo on the back. Same, um, on this one. same thing on that one. White Nike check. Um, the hang tabs. Oh yeah. Um, you got the on this one. You have the um, LBJ logo and then the Lion King line or whatever on the inside of it. Got a Roman numeral twenty three on that one. LeBron James signature Nike check. And what else? Nike Zoom of course. Got the speckle around the midsole. Like I said, that glow bottom, full gray upper, white around the sock liner. I mean, like I said, just just a dope shoe, man. We just wanted to get it out for you guys. Um, on the bottom, I think it's got some more stuff on it as well. The number 23, and then it has model number, um, some Roman numerals, man. I can't read. Yeah. My bad, y'all. <laughs> I'll, put the pic I'll put some pictures up for you guys to see exactly what we're looking at because I'm not sure if, if you guys it's very small so I'm not sure if you guys are going to be able to pick that up but like I said dope shoe very good constellation prize if you didn't get the Air Max which I'm pretty sure most of you didn't because if you got the Air Max you probably sold them on eBay you got a lot of money you probably somewhere else besides watching the review Yeah. I mean to be honest with you but that's pretty much it now, now one thing I do like to look at is the the um pretty much how they put the shoe together if it has a lot of glue on it i don't see any really pitfalls on this one so i feel like nike again you keep getting gems man you keep getting good ones because yeah you keep getting lucky because it's, it's like some of those make it through production mm -hmm. and they shouldn't so what you guys think man were you able to pick it up did you even know this shoe was dropping that's the question did you even know if this shoe was dropping uh, and if you worried were you able to pick it up is this a nice shoe? Is it a cop or a drop? What you what you guys think? Let us know below. You got anything else, man? Nah, that's it, man. That's it. Yeah. So, hey, thank you guys for tuning in. It's your boy True Technology. You know what you wear. You There's know what? Technology you I want. Did hey, something, man. You messed up my outro. What's up? I forgot some. I'm sorry, man. No, no, you good. You no, know, I had to acknowledge this, man. Congratulations, North Carolina. Oh my, this guy's still in North Carolina. <laughs> today. Man, like I said, we out of here. Know what you wear. There's knowledge in you walk. Appreciate you always coming by. Hey, hit that like, comment, subscribe. Thank you, guys. We out.